stay slightly bent, lift, punch, wrist stays straight, catching it in our pocket. We're going to drop down now into a squat, keeping your chest up, standing right back up, dropping it back down, and releasing. So when you start down, you're dropping down your knees. You're going to start here, one hand here. On top of it, other hand on the ground. You're going to drop down here, keeping the elbow slightly below the shoulder, pressing up. That's one. You're going to alternate to the other side, drop it back down. That's two, okay? What it's going to look like as I pick up the kettlebell, again, feet outside my hips, uh, kettlebells in between, back straight, knees slightly bent, lifting all the way up, having a strong, strong, strong stance, all right? Now, we're going to go ahead and add that burpee with it. So, when you drop down, hands down to the ground, we'll extend. Do not drop your hips. Keep your hips up. You want to have a strong core. Landing with your feet on the outside of the kettlebell, chest up, and then standing up, okay? So you're going to be five sets of ten of everything. So with the clean, with your cleanest squat, you're going to do your first set. If you're holding it with your right arm, do your clean to squat ten times on one side. Clean to squat ten times on your left side. And then you'll move on directly to the next exercise. Your alternating push-up. You can do them on the knees as an option. Or uh, you can do them on your toes. And then you'll go to your third and last exercise, the burpee deadlift with your kettlebell. And you get me ten of those. Give yourself a minute for uh, a minute recovery after you finish all those exercises. And repeat it four more times after that, all right? So